What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can, sorry by the lighting, by the way. So I don't know what's going on here. But as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about texting. Yay, right? Texting and what the hell women are doing wrong. And I am doing this because, again, yes, once again, I have a client who reached out to me. Um, she had a, she sent me a list of her tech like the text she met the guy on the app and she sent me all the text and i'm going to kind of critique what she did right or wrong i already did you know for her um but i wanted to give you guys a little insight so you know what to cut back on because for the most part she did well but she's wondering why the guy didn't reach out again or why the guy's not reaching out after a week and i'm going to tell her why Actually, I'm going to tell you why I already told her. So before we even get started, if you can, please subscribe. Just click the buttons below. That would be nice of you. In the description also are my email sessions, my phone, or yeah, my phone sessions, and my free ebook, 254 pages, absolutely free. goes over everything we talk about. And also, I want to touch on something real fast. When it comes to my phone sessions, a lot of people ask me, or just my sessions in general, email also, People ask me what's the best value. What can I get the most bang on my buck for? And to be honest, I would say it would probably be the 30-minute email or 30-minute uh, phone session. I feel like we can bang every single thing out you need or have problems on with the 30-minute session. The hours for a little more intensive purposes. But I would say if you're a first timer with me or a second timer, a 30-minute would do okay. And then if you want to follow up, get a 20-minute or a email session. I don't care when the follow-up is. It could be the next day. It could be a year from now. As long as it's the same situation, I would honestly start with a 30-minute session and then go from to a 20 or email from there. So let's get started. She met this guy on a dating app she said and you guys know how i am with that stuff already i don't think dating sites and dating apps are the best because of two reasons one the kind of men that go on there are low ego men they're men who don't want to actually meet you they just want to text and sex right uh then they end up ghosting you out of nowhere secondly it's competition you're literally going on a site of full of singles you're at a disadvantage the fact that you think this guy i'm not saying he's not going to right i mean I've, I've met someone online before and they're awesome but the fact that you you know are the number one option in his eyes of the hundreds of thousands of women that are on this dating site is slim to none okay and again you could be I've seen worse or you know greater miracles happen but uh or worse worse thing whatever you know you know you know the damn saying okay to happen and um but you, again, you have to remember that's like you know going into a same thing. I think is going into a bar with a bunch of beautiful women. You are that's full of a bunch of beautiful women. It's really hard to stick out when everyone there is there for the same thing. It's very very hard. That's why I always say day game is the best kind of game. But let's not worry about that. So she reached out to this guy. Uh, on the app and they started texting back and forth and the texts were really good she built some rapport in the beginning the guy seemed to respond really well and they were going back and forth for a while i would also give her credit that she's the one who ended the text now she did it uh you know falling asleep but for the most part she ended it now she's wondering why you know because the text if you look at the text the texts were good like i mean they were good conversation wise they were good but she was wondering why he wasn't reaching out and she didn't want to reach out again to him because she felt like she was going to be needy or clingy even though she hasn't talked to him in a week so i'm going to tell you guys what i told her when you're texting somebody and i said this in my other videos but i'm going to say it again there's only three reasons you should text to confirm it or to make a date to flirt minimally to you know to keep the guy's interest between the day you make the date and the actual date so minimal flirting in between and then confirming the date before the actual date now when you look at her text she obviously had to build some rapport and see if this guy was a match because they met on a dating site obvious or a dating app obviously but if you, she was texting way too long way too much and had too much conversation what she should have done is, in the beginning is build the rapport and then I would do some minimal flirting if she felt like this guy was 
ideal minimal flirting nothing nothing too far right so if you do the minimal flirting you, you see how he reacts if he get, becomes too sexual with it then you know what type of guy he is if he kind of bites and he's like haha with it then great and then from there I would if I was her I would just straight up went to straight to the point like you know when can we meet up I would like to meet you you know of course somewhere in public uh, keep it simple and straight like that because the more you're texting and because they were they were talking on the app for a little bit then they went to texting and they started texting back and forth for a while and I don't know how many days it was but you know they're talking on and off for a while and that just doesn't work you need you need you need to move it fast like I said I had I've, I just had a video that came out about this that you need to go from texting or meeting the person to making a date you need to make the date. Your job is to win someone over on a date in person where he actually sees you. The, if, the more you text, it gets boring to a guy because it becomes routine. It, beca it becomes more of a chore, more of a hassle. It's like, you know, his phone rings. It's like, okay, you know, okay, okay you know, okay, okay. And you can only talk about so much before it, it all kind of just blends together. No matter if you had highs and lows in it, right? You can only talk about so much before it all blends together and it just becomes like a straight static line. It's just kind of like, you know, okay, like where's where where's the where's the jump off? Where's the leap? Where's the adrenaline rush? And you get that usually when you meet someone. You have here's the important thing to remember. You're in a business of reactions. You know, your job is to get a reaction out of someone. And there's only two reactions, a good or a bad. But when you, when you're texting for a long time, it's stagnant, but ends up being bad because there's nothing that comes out of it. When Starbucks, you know, delivers their customers or has great customer service, right? You know, they do it because it's a react. Like they want that positive reaction. When you get your food and, it, and it, you know, it's right there on your table, if you're say you're at a restaurant, you're either gonna be like, oh shit, you know, I got some nice food, or you can be like, Ugh, you know, Ugh, you know, what the fuck is this? Or you're gonna take a bite of it and you're gonna be like, oh, this is good, or you're gonna be like, oh, this is nasty. And that reaction is gonna leave, no pun intended, a taste in your mouth, and you're going to remember it. So you need to get the guy in person and get that positive reaction. Emotions are what make people buy. Emotions are what make people commit. Emotions are what people remember, okay? Not this texting. She texts way too long. What you need to do, girl, and I don't know if she's doing it now or whatever. First of all, she could reach out to him. I think she could reach out to him. This is also a very, 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 very important thing to know. She can reach out to him without being clinging. Now, I would do a quiz and ask you guys why, but it's a video. She could reach out to this guy, uh, or she could have at least in the beginning. You know how I said that she could have uh, built some rapport, flirt, and then reach out and say, let's make the date. She's like, I don't want to come off clingy. You weren't going to come off clingy there because he didn't have any initial ideas of how you were, okay? He just met you, and it seems very, you know, obvious and logical to want to meet in person there's nothing wrong with that if you did the way i told you you know build that rapport a little bit of flirting and then meet there's nothing wrong with that it escalated and unfolded naturally and it should have happened okay however now he might i still say he wouldn't so i would say reach out to him but he might because of all that texting and all that messaging back and forth on the app um i would say that he might have this idea that, okay, she likes to, you know, he might not even think of it, but it is, plant, the seed is planted there. He might think, okay, this girl obviously likes to text a lot, and he might get the idea that she might be that way. You know, she's a texter. Now that a text, when I say texter, I don't mean like in a bad way, but like, you know, she texts a lot, and she reaches out a lot and stuff like that. The guy might get the idea like, okay, you know, I'm not about that. I'm personally not when a girl... Texts me a lot. It's kind of like okay, like, I understand. You, you know I'm at work. Why are you texting me? You know I'm sleeping. Why are you texting me? That sh that shit bothers me personally. And a lot of guys feel that unless they really, 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 really like the girl or they're really insecure and need the validation. So I told her that she should have reached out to the guy because again. He has no prior insight on how she is, so he couldn't say she's needy. But because, again, this is why I say you need to cut back on the texting. Because they were talking on and on and on and on and on about you know, all these different things. And again, this conversation wasn't bad. They built rapport. They had a lot of hobbies and uh, similarities that they could share and talk about and things like that. She actually said she reached out to him because he had a quote on his, his thing. 
that reminded her of something, which I'm not going to say because I don't want to, you know, put her on blast. But if you just kept it short, kept it clean, and then you reached out, it's okay. But now that you actually, you know, went on and on and on about it, it's a different story, okay? He might have that idea that you're a texter and might want to back off. Now, I'm not saying that's why he backed off. I actually think he backed off because of... Again, it's a dating site or it's a dating app. Uh, there's a lot of women on there. He probably has a bunch of women he's talking to. I would I would say that personally. She's a very cute girl. I see. I, I uh, she had a picture. I think she had a picture on her. Like when you send me your Gmail, it has a picture. She's a cute girl, and I and I in the conversation that she had made her come off. So she's attractive and she had a great personality and she was easy. To, I from the conversation I saw, she was very easy to talk to. I think she could have kept it going if she did it right. I still think she should keep it going. I still think she should reach out to him. And again, if he doesn't reply in another three or four days, I'd reach out again. After the second time, though, I'd cut him off. Like, it's not there. Let him reach out to you. He's not interested. Okay? So, with that being said, ladies, keep the text short and simple. Don't give them any prior tendencies to think that you're needy or clingy. If you meet someone on a dating app or you meet someone in person... Build a little bit of rapport. Ask each other what you're doing. Da 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 da. da. Uh, flirt. Again, minimum flirting, and then make the dates. Simple as that. I would say all that. I would say you should do that in you sending ten texts or so ten, ten, twenty, right? So you should build a little rapport in the beginning. Hey, how you doing? Or how's your day going? Or and actually, I won't even say that because everyone says that. I would send something funny, cute, maybe something cute and flirtatious in the beginning. Cut that bullshit out in the be beginning because if you met each other in person, you should have built rapport there. But something flirty and uh, cute in the beginning, you know, non clingy like, just something funny, interesting. Then uh, move slowly. You could, you can could actually build rapport and flirt at the same time if you're good enough to do that. Then slowly move over to making a date. With that being said, I love you ladies. Take care and peace.